Yep, it's an update, 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 update. Okay, here we go. So what we have here is a uh, former Dallas officer, Amber Geiger's defense notice, files notice to appeal conviction murder. Wow. So an attorney for former Dallas police officer convicted in the murder shooting of her neighbor has filed a notice of appeal of her conviction and sentenced to the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals. Michael Mawa filed the notice of on October 16th on behalf of Amber Geiger who was sentenced to 10 years in prison. The notice is the first step that's required if the defense decides to pursue an appeal in the case but it doesn't specifically specify the grounds for an appeal. The appeal the, uh, to appeal the judgment of a criminal case, Texas Rules of Appellate Procedure require that the defendant file a notice of appeal within 30 days after the sentence or is imposed or suspended in open court or after the day the trial enters uh, an appealable order or within 90 days after the, uh, the, the uh, day sentence is imposed or suspended in open court if the defendant timely files a motion for new trial according to uh, texascourts.gov. Geiger was found guilty on October 1st of the murder death of Botham John, her unarmed black neighbor, whom she shot in his apartment. On se September 6, 2018, Geiger, who was white, entered John's apartment, so-called mistakenly for her own, and believed it was an intruder, she testified. And she shot him and killed him in his own home. But uh, after this, after this case was was uh, while this case was going on, and after this case uh, was going through the phase of sentencing, and it was a lot of it was a lot of weird things going on. Uh, the judge was coming up with these crazy rulings, and she actually threw in a ruling that had nothing, absolutely nothing to do with this case. Talking about stand your ground when. This person was an intruder in someone else's house that had nothing to do with this case. If anything, he would have had the right to stand his ground and defend himself against her coming in his house with a gun. The judge never should have allowed that or even said anything about that. And uh, this was prior to the, the, uh, the uh, jury coming back with the, the verdict. And she had threw that at them before, right before they was getting ready to leave the court. Also... You had the uh, bailiff that was over there uh, grooming Amber Geiger, combing her hair. Somebody in the in the uh, courtroom had had a phone, and they was filming the lady. Now this is this is a black bailiff, and she's in inside the court uh, combing this lady's hair, combing her hair, combing her hair. You know, trying to make her look good. Now. That's that's an impropriety right there. You're talking about a uh, bailiff that's that's a uh, uh, a uh, ward of the court. Somebody that works for the court is actually grooming the hair of a defendant in a courtroom. So that's 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 one that's another thing. And then you have the judge at the end of the end of the trial that goes through the process of hugging a confused a convicted felon, a convicted murderer and uh holding a prayer meeting and uh also giving the uh defendant the person that's going to prison the bible and she i mean she just completely this is the judge uh well, let me see what her name was i can't remember her name i they some kind somebody had nicknamed her mammy tammy or something like that but uh which which actually fits but i'm gonna give you her real name in a, in a second here as soon as I pull it up but anyway the judge was out of bounds you know and I and I had a feeling I said wait a minute this is this right here what she's doing is definitely grounds for this person to get out to get out of jail because she's doing some crazy stuff here that that is uh is out is way out of pocket whatever she was doing she was doing some crazy stuff 
and uh, where is Mammy's name here? Okay, her name is Judge Tammy Kemp. Okay, so now I see why they call her Mammy Tammy. Uh, so what happened was the judge faces criticism for alleged bias following decisions in the Amber Geiger murder trial, but not everyone is convinced. The judge presiding over the highly publicized trial of ex-Dallas police officer Amber Geiger decided in the defense's favor on, on legal matters so essential to the case they could sway a jury in the direction of a not, not guilty verdict as both the prosecution and the defense issued their closing arguments to send case to deliberations. So she was, all the time, what this judge was doing, allegedly doing, was uh, trying to do what she could to help this uh, murderer get off. So all the, all the improprieties that she was doing in the middle of this case were basically, uh, she what she was doing, she was helping set it up so she could appeal this case. So that's, I mean, I said this while, this, while the case was going on, this is some, some weird hanky-panky going on, but when she did what she did after the case was over with, and she went and hugged the, uh, the defendant and prayed for the defendant and gave the defendant a Bible, a convicted felon, a convicted defendant, not before, this was after the trial. So all this stuff right here, was just like okay, you you uh, you know we we you know we we look at at this thing and everybody's talking about well blood justice is this justice is blind and all that. This was a judge. This was a judge. This was a black judge helping a, a white convicted murderer get uh, a ground for appeal, set up a ground for an appeal. See, I mean the, the they was asking for ninety nine years for this person. 99 years and the judge sentenced her to the smallest amount of time that she could possibly sentence her to and that was 10 years so that was that was enough signal right there for me that this was some bias involved in this in this court case by this particular judge now what she eventually did was uh somebody uh it's been several several uh motions filed against this judge you had a group of people that uh, anti-religion group that filed some uh, paperwork on her. They, you know, they filed some paperwork on her, and, and a few other uh, organizations have actually filed filed motions and filed grievances against this lawyer after this case. I mean, after, against this judge after the case was over. So now it's very obvious what was really going on here. You know, it's like okay. Black, it's like with all this, with all the evidence and everything that was done, the ladies convicted. We can't even, we can't get a fair trial in America. It's just now you got judges throwing cases. So keep your eyes open on this. This is just breaking news, and uh, what you need to do is really, really focus on this. And uh, you know, you know, you know, you, you don't don't be stupid and, and sit up here and believe. You don't, you, don't, you don't even have to believe me. Do the research for yourself. Just Google it. Amber Geiger Appeal. And then you at about 30 pages will pop up, and you'll see exactly, you know, what's, what's really going on here. And uh, like I said, we want to, I guess she's probably happy, you know, she had this uh, Mammy Tammy as a judge that uh, sit up here and, and did everything she could do illegally without, you know, okay, well, I'm I'm going to the edge. I'm not crossing over the edge, but she actually did cross over. She crossed over to the point of having this whole case overthrown, this whole case vacated, and they're going to have to retry this uh, case all over again. And the next time they try it, who knows? You know, she might get off scot-free. So this is a news update about Amber Geiger uh, filing an appeal in the, uh, the murder of uh, Bottom John. Ah, baby. Wake up, folks. Wake up. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open.